Why, hello there, and welcome to another episode of uh, For the Culture Kitchen. Here in For the Culture Kitchen, we make African, Caribbean, and Latin dishes for the culture. This is the most stressed up I've been in two months. How's your quarantine going? Same thing? Okay, cool. Glad we're on the same page. You haven't seen my hair in two months? I've barely seen it either. That's another story. Anyways, on today's episode of For the Culture Kitchen, we are going to be making Jamaican beef patties. That's right. So, you know, Tower Isles? Yeah, canceled. Cancel her. Don't, you don't need to go to the store to get those? I got the recipe right here. Golden crust? You don't need her. You know what's in those golden crust patties? High fructose corn syrup. I don't know what's in that stuff. Yellow dye number four, probably. I haven't verified this. Don't sue me, Golden Crust Incorporated. But today we are going to be making it from scratch. Being a person of Jamaican descent, I was hoping I could call on me madre, my mother, to come and assist me in today's video. However, comma, she's never made these before either. So we are truly starting from uh, square zero, at, more like square negative five in my case. Nothing new here. Same old, same old. Professional amateur chef. That's that's my brand. That's really my brand. You know what I mean? I'm stick. I'm staying true. I went to business school. I know how this works. Let's get into the ingredients. Here are the ingredients we will be working with today: unseasoned breadcrumbs, salt, butter, flour, scallion, sugar wrapped several times in Ziploc bag for freshness. Turmeric, curry, black pepper, paprika, allspice, minced garlic in water, onion, thyme, and of course, chicken bouillon cubes. Okay, so remember when I said these were beef patties? I lied, we're doing ground turkey. So I combined the flour, the salt, the sugar, and the butter in this bowl to make the pie, the pie crust. It's not pie, oh Lord Jesus. To make the patty crust. You, you, see what, you see what's going on here. So I'm gonna take this fork and I'm gonna try to work the butter in there so that we can blend this all together. All right, all right. Now I have watched multiple videos of people making these patties because I'm not trying to, you know, turn this into jollof rice number five. You know what I'm saying? We're trying to learn from the mistakes of the past and we're trying to do our research before we come on camera. And by research, I mean I watched two people make this. My arms hurt. Oh my God, my arms hurt. Now that we're done blending, we are now going to start adding water gradually to the mixture. One, two. You know, I know some of y'all aren't working out. You haven't moved much in the past few months. This could be a little, little quarantine, you know, get your, get your quarantine body right for the summer. You see me, I feel like, where, 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 you see me do me dirt, 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 dirt. You ain't gotta go to work, 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 work. Literally don't have to go to work, 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 work. Okay, I had to switch bowls, but we managed to get our dough into a ball. Now I'm going to cover said bowl with some saran wrap and we're gonna store it in the fridge. I'm going to get started on making the, the filling. So I have to chop up the onion and the scallion. I have <laughs> my good friend here to help with that. Okay, so this is the onion, the green onion, the garlic, I put salt, I put adobo, I put red pepper flakes. Now I'm gonna add our turkey, gobble gobble. We are going to add one fourth cup unseasoned breadcrumbs, half a teaspoon of black pepper, one fourth teaspoon of thyme, one teaspoon of curry powder, half a teaspoon of allspice, half a teaspoon of paprika, some bouillon cube. All right, now I'm gonna add one cup of water. We're gonna let that simmer for 10 minutes. This is the vegetarian one I made for my mother. It has cabbage. This is the, uh, the turkey one. Delicioso. So basically, before I can put these into the crust, I have to wait for them to become room temperature. So it's currently 9.42 p.m. 
So this is gonna be like a midnight snack kind of situation for me. Okay, people, I took about half the dough here and I'm going to flatten it by putting it in between two pieces of wax paper. And I don't have a rolling pin, but I do have a water bottle. So I'm gonna use this water bottle as my rolling pin or I can use this. Try this first. Oh. <clears throat> Okay, so my wrists low key hurt, but I managed to roll this out. It could be a little thinner, but you know what? We're just gonna take the L. Um, I'm gonna take this bowl and use it to cut out circles. Put some right there. You feel me? All right, now I'm gonna dip my finger in water and just run that along the edge of our crust. Now I'm gonna fold this bad boy. Boom! Finally finished filling all of these tings here. I have an egg wash. This is literally just an egg and some water. I don't have like a brush. I have a spatula though. So I'm gonna take that, brush that over the top. Look at that glaze, look at that glisten, look at that sheen, that shine, that sparkle. I can see myself reflected in this golden crust. Now I'm gonna put this in the oven. 25 to 30 minutes. Do y'all know what time it is? It is 1.19 in the a.m. I started filming this video Saturday at like 7 p.m. And it is now Sunday, the Lord's Day in the morning. In my defense, the sink started leaking halfway through. And so we had to, we had to put a little, a little pause to uh, handle that situation. Then I resumed creating our uh, Jamaican patties. However, comma, do you know how time consuming it is to roll dough with a water bottle? It took a long time. It took a long time. And my back hurts. My lawyers will be contacting uh, you, the viewer, soon about my chiropractor bills. So keep an eye out for that. Check your mail. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you get a little email, I don't know. 2020, an Instagram DM, I don't know. My people will be in touch. You know, and I just wanna, I just wanna give a moment of silence to the unsung heroes of Jamaican culture. And that is the people who make Jamaican patties on a daily basis. If you are a Jamaican pastry, a Jamaican patty chef, okay? If you run a, 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 a Golden Crust franchise location or something, hats off to you because <laughs> <laughs> okay, black people, Latin people, you know when you get in your hair braided and you go to the braider and you sit down at one o'clock in the afternoon and you don't get out of that chair until 8 p.m. Yeah, Jamaican patties are the braided hairstyles of the cuisine world. Okay, I made a little baby one. Y'all see that? Ain't she cute? She a little ugly. This was like my leftover crust. I needed to do something with it, so I just made me a little baby one. I'm gonna taste it on camera the filling is excellent the crust is okay i think i should have used a different butter like this butter tastes a little tastes a little friggy you know you know y'all know the fridge taste you know when you don't have any bacon powder in your fridge and you taste something that's been in there a little too long and it tastes a little friggy that's how it tastes a little friggy i think the butter was in there too long that that butter i've had in there for a couple months Good first attempt. We've seen a lot worse on this Instagram page. Okay, we've seen we've seen some some shameful cuisine outcomes. Let's just put it that way. You know what? The more I eat it, the more I like it. You know what? Really grows on you. It's like mold or like a fungus or something. Okay, so it's the next day. I've had a chance to figuratively and literally digest my food. And upon reheating the patty and eating today, I've come to the conclusion that it was actually quite good. I said it had a fridge taste. I take it back. In the moment it did, but when you reheat it, it's gone. You know, I think the, the, the gamma rays from the microwave kind of, I think they kill the fridge taste or something. And that's why this gone. time it was good. So Joshua, Joshua didn't have it last night because he was asleep. Yes. But did you have it today and what did you think? Um, on a scale of one to delicioso, I would say 
delicious. Okay, all right. Believe me, he's not lying because he has dragged my food before. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of For the Culture Kitchen, and we'll catch you next time, all right?